your day, if your day is going well, try and do a live technology demo. So we're going to see. Exactly. <laughs> So we um, just keep, thank you. Do you want to start with giving a bit of context as to how we got here with the multi data set and everything? Sure. So um, uh, I alluded to it a little bit earlier that uh, in order to accelerate things, uh, you, you need some, I think as Nish said, you need some running code in order to help get things going. And uh, so one of our team members, I think everyone here uh, you know, knows Marty Burns, uh, he and one of his colleagues uh, spent some time and put together uh, a, a, a set of code to uh, make it easy to implement the SB, uh, you know, the SB standard, and, uh, and and built an ecosystem around that for testing and and uh, and demonstration. So a lot of the stuff that you're going to be seeing here is based on some sample data sets that were created uh, in the SB format as an XML uh, you know, data file that can be uh, consumed manually through a website or by machine. Uh, so, uh, Anto, uh, I guess you'd okay, like to so go ahead and show Okay, so this first one that. is uh, something that uh, Tenderall put together. This is a, a website, uh, and if I log in, and I'm actually running it on my iPhone. If I log in, I can view my green button data, which is that button at the, at the bottom. And it's going to obviously download as a web, uh, as a web page, to go and access that data. And I can go there. I can't look up there. I can look down there and look at the, the chart. So this is a, one of the um, presentation of a, a, um, a data set. Uh, and I think, what else can you do on there? I think yeah, on, on a laptop. On this on a laptop, uh, this one uh, has, uh, this application has cursoring capabilities. So you can uh, you know, drill down further. So we've got uh, a few limitations through the, uh, through the handheld device. but. Uh, for many folks, the handheld device is, uh, that's the whole benefit, so. Right. So this is the, this is the first one, it's just of, and, and most of these um, apps and websites and whatever probably didn't exist two weeks ago, and some of them didn't exist last week. So this is really part of what we want to show and talk about, it's just the, the, the speed that you can actually get some of this. So next we're going to show the thermostat, if we can go to the Honeywell thermostat. There you go. All right, there we go. Okay, so you know, here we have a, 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 a Honeywell thermostat, uh, a pretty sophisticated thermostat with a really uh, excellent user interface. Uh, it's a combination thermostat and in-home display device, uh, providing your basic uh, 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 thermostat capability. It's a shipping and uh, available uh, you know, product. Um, but the, you know, because of the nature of the programmability of this device, it was relatively straightforward for Honeywell to take the information, uh, you know, the, uh, the development kit and, uh, and the like that, uh, uh, that uh, had been put together, and uh, quickly implement a green button you know, here on, on, the, on the thermostat. In this case, uh, if we click on the green button, what it's able to do is go and retrieve, uh, in, in using the SB format, retrieve uh, the information payload of uh, the recent energy information that has been captured uh, you know, through the overall system. And uh, with that, downloading that information, and here using the thermostat as a in-home display device, we can bring up uh, some you know, hourly uh, information, uh, re recent information, uh, you know, daily, uh, and, uh, and even monthly with aggregated information, uh, making a, um, a, a, a basically daily you know, averages over some period of time. We can even bring down uh, information and make it available in uh, numbers that more people might understand. It's from a cost point of view, just you know, how, many, you know, how much money is it costing you uh, per day with this information. So relatively simple interface. Um, you can uh, provide some significant you know, value. And again, uh, relatively little time to uh, implement uh, these systems. Um, one of the interesting things about these kind of devices, of course, uh, you know, uh, in, this kind of a sophisticated in-home display device, um, excellent simple interface, but for those who are preferring to move to the uh, handheld type devices and tablet devices, this particular system is able to uh, directly interface with an iPad or an iPhone in this particular case. And uh, so we're able to use this interface instead of the, uh, the thermostat to retrieve the same kind of information. So with the rich interface available in a tablet, we're able to, we're able to, um, uh, uh, we're able to go ahead and, uh, and get the information from the thermostat over a Wi-Fi connection to the thermostat. And uh, through this connection, 
also bring down the information, uh, getting uh, you know, the daily consumption, the hourly consumption uh, through the rich interface. Uh, in this case, it, it's uh, a, a, a web page that is optimized for the iPad, but we could, uh, we'll be seeing in a minute how we can have an actual um, direct app do this. But we have all the power of a tablet and, uh, and the web interface to drill down further, uh, get more information uh, about our particular usage on a particular uh, you know, day or, or uh, what have you. And uh, so relatively uh, simple, straightforward you know, application just enabled by that initial SP uh, development kit. And accessing the same set data set. Accessing the same data set. So the, the key thing here is a hallmark of interoperability. We're, talking, we're dealing with multi-vendor interoperability uh, on multitude of different devices. Okay, so if we can um, switch over to uh, the Mac, Kurt, there you go. So this is actually a pleasant surprise for all of us. This didn't exist last night when we were uh, meeting. Um, so this is actually- The event of innovation is quick. Here, right now. Okay. <laughs> so I, um, I have a friend that lives in, in Texas and he has a, a, a son who kind of does some dabbling in, in, uh, in coding and stuff. So I sent him Marty's package on Sunday and I said, come up with something and we'll show it on, on screen. So this is what it came up with. It's obviously pretty um, basic, but um, again, it just shows uh, how much can be done. This is actually a Flash app, a uh, Flash application. Um, and what this thing does is it says, give me an XML, give me a green button data XML. Um, and there are a number of data sets here. So if I pick this one and open it and go, has some charts. So this is again the same data set that we've seen in, in the, the other two apps and I can drill down um, into this and I don't think you can do much more than that and drill down on a daily basis uh, and go back and obviously open a, a different um, data set. I don't know what's in these. But the main thing is, if you didn't like the visual, if you didn't like the visualization that maybe uh, you know your favorite utility provided, download the green button data. Um, you've got a rich set of applications. You know, open that data, uh, and you know you may like the way it's graphed better. Uh, the font may be large enough for you to actually read. That uh, you know your utility maybe didn't take that into consideration, or you can do all of these other analyses that uh, uh, the world of complete innovation. Or maybe you like Flash. Or maybe you like Flash. You're, 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 yeah, right. <laughs> Okay, so if we can switch now back to my iPhone, actually the same, uh, same connection, so can we go back to the, the iPhone, Kurt? There you go. Uh, so I'll show you um, the uh, uh, People Power app. I need to do, make it go upwards. Um, and on the home page, my home, and if I go to analyze, this is yet again showing data that's coming from the XML data set that's actually on, on the website. Um, this again uh, was put together by um, uh, John Teeter, I think since about last Friday. So he had a little bit more time uh, and it's obviously based on an application, an existing application, so it's much richer to put it sideways and uh, look at uh, week data, month data, etc. So that's, that's uh, pretty rich. But again, the point about all of these is that all of these apps are consuming the same format, a consistent format. Um, so we, I also have, um, if uh, people have not seen this, I have the uh, TXU app. This, this is not actually consuming uh, green button data. Uh, I'm not going to do this because I'll reveal my password. <laughs> Hang on, give me a second. We still have to work on the security aspects of, uh, of, of, of Green Button in many ways, but uh, yeah. there we go. So brute force approach to uh, address the security. Could be back up. <laughs> there you go, loading. You don't know my password now. And uh, this is the usage information. This is actually live. This is actually my account uh, from home. Can we have something? I mean, with these with these exist with these existing utility systems, you can envision you know the relatively straightforward addition of this one additional piece to retrieve the data you know in uh, in this new format to empower these third parties. It's uh, I, it's, it's the reason why Wazar indicated earlier that it was relatively short amount of time to uh, uh, to get that added to their system. Okay. 
States. So again, this go. is not green button. This is kind of the temperature in Texas. Uh, uh, but obviously, one of the things that we'll hopefully do, as uh, Donnie mentioned, is to uh, migrate this so that we get consolidated, so the same app or the, one of the other apps can actually consume this data. So that's uh, six apps we've shown. Have we got any more? Is that it? I think that's uh, all we have for today. But uh, you know, for you know, for a, a few days and putting a few applications, it's amazing. You know, the innovation that came together in just a number of days after uh, getting the kit. Very cool. So, thank you. So let's get back to. And it didn't crash. <laughs> yes.